What's going on YouTube? Calcioscope back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest and most efficient way to get watermarks off of images in Photoshop. Now these images don't have to be from Getty Images. There's other stock photo sites such as AP, you know, Getty, Shutterstock. We're gonna be using getpaidstock.com and this is what gets the watermark off. You're gonna have a, a smaller resolution size, but I'm gonna show you guys how to always use the most that you can of the original photo on your projects. So let's get into it. Be sure to drop a like on the video, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Also, the Discord is linked below. So first things first, you need to find a photo that you wanna use. In this case, I looked up on Getty Images, Jalen Brown Celtics. Now I found a cool image that I wanna use just so we're not here wasting a bunch of time and I found this photo of him against the Blazers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is save it. So I would just click on this image right here and I already have it saved, but you just click on the image and to save it, you just right click and you're gonna hit save image as, and then you're gonna make a folder wherever you wanna save it. And then like right here, just save it right here. Watermark Jalen Brown. So just make a folder or save it somewhere you know where it's gonna be where you want it to be. Now from this, we're also gonna take the address. So let's just go up to the top of the address, click it, right click, copy the address. Once that done, we're gonna come to a site called getpaidstock.com. This used to be tomato.to, I believe, but now it's called Get Paid Stock. So go to this site. And in this bar, in this bar right here, we're gonna click on it, right click, and paste our link from Getty Images. Now we're gonna hit search photo right here. Sometimes it gives you this invalid Google CAPTCHA token. So just reload the page if it does that. So just press F5 to reload the page. This time it worked because you can see download generated photo. Click on that. Now we're gonna right click on this image or you can hit this download this image. That ad comes up, just ignore it. Download this image and then we're gonna say no watermark, so no WM Jalen Brown. Save. Okay, so now you have both images saved, one with the watermark, which has the original resolution, one from Get Paid Spot Stock, which has a smaller resolution. So now how we're gonna combat this is we're going to double the image size, okay? All right, so before we move on to the next step, let me explain something. There's two applications that I suggest using. One is imglarger.com and the other is gigapixel topaz so both of these are really good sites i'm not gonna go into like how to download gigapixel for free um because it just like doesn't even work sometimes and sometimes it looks just bugs out like right now i have purchased gigapixel ai for the year um but img larger is also really good as well so either i'll upload a new a new video on how to get them for free but if you guys are really going to be doing this like at the level that you want to do it um it's really not that big a deal to just purchase a img larger i think it's i think it's a lot less expensive but it's not really that big of a deal if you are really dedicated to this and it's like i don't know like ten dollars a month or something like that so it's not even that bad but let's move on to the next step i'm just gonna use topaz gigapixel to enlarge this image so now i'm in topaz gigapixel ai i'm gonna hit browse on this drop folder or images now I'm gonna bring in this no watermark Jalen Brown. Now this is processed and you can zoom out and see how what it's going to look like. Don't get me wrong, it looks pretty good with just using this, but you always wanna use the original photo, so that's gonna be the next step. But usually two times is gonna get the original size of your photo. So scale it by two right here over on the right. And then I usually just use standard um, for it. And I don't really mess around with any of these. Um, we could go into something later on like all the separate tabs but i don't really mess around with these i just hit save image and i just save it and it's going to go into the same folder that i picked so once that's done just close out of gigapixel and now we're going to open up photoshop the photos that you're going to open once you have photoshop open is you're going to upload your no watermark that's scaled up and you're going to open your watermark original so if we just cycle through these two you guys see no matter what it usually is going to lose a little bit of the quality so now we're gonna combat that and use the most of our original at we, that we can. So I'm on my scaled up image that we got without the watermark right now. Hit this background, hit this lock right here to unlock it. And then I'm just gonna press Control C 
to copy it and I'm gonna go onto my watermark Jalen Brown and press Control shift V to paste it into place and right there if it's like pretty much seamlessly right over it so really cool now is the key thing that we're gonna do so what you're gonna do is you're going to go on your you're gonna name let's just name our layers first so this is no watermark and this is the watermarked one so on your no watermark image you're gonna hit this layer mask icon right down here okay see this layer mask icon hit that then we're gonna press Control I. All right, Control I, boom. This is going to make it make so the mask is actually hidden because black hides white reveals. So now we have our mask hidden. We're gonna bring our flow up to 100, and now we're only gonna paint on the parts that we need to to get the watermark off. And in this case, this photo is pretty good with this, and there's not too much watermark, which is good. So you're only gonna paint on the parts that you need to get off, and it's really that simple. So once you download your photos. All you need to do is get your the part that you only need off so so now you see we have everything off of him and the last step would be to obviously do a mask but first we would just merge these images together so to do that we're gonna hold Control alt shift e to merge from visible Control alt shift e merge from visible and i'm gonna hit that and it's gonna make a new layer boom now just to show you guys we have our own layer from this and if i just Bring this on, we're good to go. And then you guys can just start getting your mask. So that's how you're gonna do it. So let's go over the steps again. The first thing that you need to do is pick an image from Getty Images, from Getty Images or whatever image site you're gonna use, AP Images, Shutterstock, whatever the case may be. Second thing we're gonna do is log on to our Get Paid Stock, not log on, you can make an account I think, but you don't need to do that. GetPaidStock.com to get the watermark off. Then we're going to use a image enlarger, whether it be gigapixel, IMG larger, whatever the case may be, whatever image enlar enhancer you want to use, that's up to you. Then we're gonna log into Photoshop. We're gonna get our watermark off using a reverse layer mask, painting white on to reveal some of the layer mask. And then we're gonna merge from visible, Control Alt Shift E to do so. So that's gonna do it for the video guys. Hopefully this helps. I know um, there's a lot of people that are just starting out Photoshop all the time. So hopefully this helps you guys out in making your designs and making some, some great pieces. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. If this helped, make sure you share with a friend, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And with that being said, I'm a peace out of here, man. Stay scoped, peace.